you watching ATU TV. This is the news update. My name is Selena Apia. The Accra Technical University SRC Electoral Commission will undertake its first ever SRC main presidential aspirants debate this evening. Now we have in the studio the SRC presidential aspirant, Mana Andi, to brief us on the debate and his readiness for the event. We're going for a quick break. Stay with us. You all come back from that quick break. Hello, Mr. Mana Andy. Hello, Madam you welcome to the news update. All right, thank you very much. So, how prepared are you for the debate? All right, so um, I think I'm um, okay. Let's say I'm good. And then, um, written percentage wise, I would say maybe 99% ready. Yes, so whatever that is up there to go and face. Yes, so, I'm very prepared. For it. And how do you think this debate is going to help you and your other aspirants? Okay, so I think uh, it's going to be of help to we the aspirants and even to the students who will be there to watch. And then I believe it will create opportunity for this aspirant to tell the students what they have, their goals and their vision for the student body. Yes, that will promote some kind of accountability and also promote the um, the love or the support with the students will be given to these aspirants. Okay. How do you think the debate is going to have impact on the student's body? Okay. So as I said earlier, um, it's going to be something that will help bring about accountability. Right. So at the end of the day, the students will know that, oh, this um, particular aspirant came to tell them that they would give this out to them. And then if in case they are not able to produce, we'll be able to hold them accountable for it. And as well as to create a platform where um, these aspirants to sell out themselves or state their policies clearly in the open, where students who they might not they might have not met around would also come to listen to. So I think it will be of benefit. Okay. And I learned the dates for the election has been changed. Um, which dates hasn't been extended to? And then how is it affecting the aspirants? Okay, so previously we were supposed to have the election on 5th of July, that was this coming Friday, but then it has been changed to the 12th of July due to certain circumstances. But uh, it's not all good because some of the aspirants are continuing students yeah. who are writing exams just a week after the election week. So in that case, they wouldn't get adequate time to sit and then recap or learn whatever they have missed over the semester. Yeah. So one way or the other, it's not going to be advisable, but all the same, we're going to promote um, some kind of unity because some of the aspirants are still waiting their results, which is pending. And if they are being permitted to contest without it, um, some way, one way or the other are going to affect the electoral process in case they find out that there are some uh, more feces somewhere. Sure. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much for joining us here. You're welcome, and thank you too for having me. You're welcome. Now that's all for the news updates here on ATU TV. My name is Selena Apia. Have a good evening.